Okay, we're going to give you guys a glimpse of the latest thing here that's in at the shop. Um, this is something we've been working on. Um, actually, I don't think there's any videos of it, to be honest. What it was was a, a Gus, a guy who lives out in Surrey. Uh, he's been coming out to Chilliwack, and he's been slowly building this 36 Ford pickup. Actually, he bought it as a running pickup down south, and I believe, I could be mistaken, but I believe it had a V6 in it. And he drove it up here, up to BC, and got it all registered over and all the good stuff that you need to do to, uh, to get proper registration. And uh, then he decided he was going to change it and make it his own truck, and of course, he pulled the V6 out, and he bought a, um, he bought a 350 motor for it, the typical Chevy motor, and put that in it. Um, but anyway, he's been bringing us pieces as, as, as he's had it. He brought us the front fenders, the hood, the grill, and um, we did the pieces for him. And now he's brought the whole truck out. And basically what we've done here and what he's done is we've mocked it up, made sure that the body lines are going to be fairly decent, um, fairly good for this truck, and then we're going to finish off the body work on it. And uh, away it's going to go to paint. So we'll give you guys a look of a 36 Ford pickup, and uh, that's about it. So let's show you. Oh, so it's a little cramped here right now. It's in the smaller bay. So as you can see, we did the grill. We did all the bodywork on the grill shell. It wasn't in the greatest shape. We did the front fenders. Yes, they are steel. They're not fiberglass. Everything on this truck is steel. Very hard to find parts for these trucks. It seems to be getting harder and harder all the time. Now well, the doors are off it. The doors are right here. Um, just because Dave kind of got going here on Friday, I didn't have a chance to videotape the truck. That's all fine and dandy, so you don't get to see it with the doors on, but you can visualize it. Obviously, you can see it was a darker blue. Now, Gus has decided he's going to go green on it. We're going to go Corvette green. Uh, Goodwood green, I believe is the name. It's a 67 Corvette color. So, obviously, we've got to spray it inside and outside. The whole truck is going to be solid one color. Um, it's not going to be two-tone, it's just going to be solid. Everything green, right down to the running boards. It's got a brand new box that Gus bought. So I don't know exactly what the story is because I, I'm pretty positive he said he bought this truck and it was a running truck. But then he looked for some better parts. He bought this box. I think the box he said came out of Missouri. Um, man, the thing I tell you, this thing is just like, holy God, is that ever skookum. It's just solid as a rock. A uh, very nice box. I don't know exactly where he got it from. Maybe I'll find out in case there's any 36 Ford guys out there. But it's running a Ford 9 inch in the back. Turbo 350 tranny. Obviously we've got some dual exhaust going on. Gas tank is at the back. And yes, you can tell by the lines the motor is, um, it's not carbureted. It's a, it's injected motor. It's an older style motor. The cab is really straight. You can see with the blue on it just how straight it is. So basically we don't have anything to do with the cab. It's sand it, prime it, prep it, off for paint, and that's it. Now this truck, of course, this is one of these trucks when you paint vehicles like this, you have to paint them in pieces. So it's going to be a bit of a nightmare when it gets time to put it back together because it's one thing to put chrome on a car when it's together, but it's another thing to start bolting fenders and hoods and everything else on that are paint. But that is the latest little project. I'm sorry, like I say, we'll try and get some shots of this when it's outside. But that's our latest little project here. And of course, Colby's truck is still right here. We're working away on Colby's truck. And we've got her covered up just because we don't want to get any overspray anywhere. Uh, hood fenders are all on it. Or not the hood. I mean the fenders and the doors are all on it. Um, that's over with. We're going to be bolting the hood on it today, as you can see. There we go. We've got the whole underside of the hood painted, the green. Now again, we just painted the hood, door jams, all that kind of stuff. We just do it in the shop. You can see the shine there. We don't, we don't use a booth for that. Not that I'm saying, you, 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 I'm just saying you don't need a booth. You can do that kind of smaller stuff in, the, in your shop at home because there's really not a lot of overspray coming up from it anyway. So Colby's truck is right here. We're keeping up with that. I say not much to see. It's covered in plastic. Let's see if you can get a glimpse underneath. You can sort of see we've got, got all the inner fenders on. You can see the nice satin block down in there. 
Now we'll take a walk outside okay, so here. Okay, so Dan's 37 Ford, we're outside here. Obviously it is still here. We're actually gonna be starting on that within the next two weeks. Dan's 37 is coming in. Darren's still working away on the little Chevy cab over. Uh, we're hoping to have that one all finished up by the end of this week. Now you might recognize this truck. This is the 60 Chevy pickup that Rich brought us a while back. If you remember, it came in and he had us install a tilt column and do all the wiring on it. And uh, he was very happy of our work, obviously, because he's come back again. And what we're going to be doing now for Rich on his truck is we're going to be installing a disc brake conversion on the front, power disc brake conversion on the front of this truck, because it's still, it's still the old drum brakes. So we've ordered up the kit with a two and a half inch drop spindle, and uh, we're going to be fixing that up for him. And then we're also going to be pulling his gas tank out. He seems to have some, uh, he seems to have an issue. The gas tank seems to be vaporing a bit in the cab there. And uh, that's actually due to the fact that there's a small little leak up by the filler neck. So that's what we got going on there. So Rich's truck is back in. It's always nice to have a repeat customer. And here we go. Of course, like you say, you can't really see it. But underneath the cover here is Dean's 55 Pontiac. So uh, this basically this video, you're probably like, what the hell, Rick? You're not showing us much. But I'm just keeping you guys updated. Oh, here's one for you. Here's one. You're going to like this. Dean, Dean, who we're doing the Pontiac for, his good buddy Graham, well, he's got a bunch of vehicles too. Well, Graham says to me, hey, let me get this turned around. Because I know Graham's out there watching. Graham has been bugging me forever. He's been saying, Rick, I got this 66 Ford pickup. I want you to do all the body and paint on it. Now, I went and saw the truck. The truck is absolutely flawless. It's never been painted. It came from the U.S. It's a short box pickup, gorgeous truck. And I said, okay, I'll do it, I'll do it, I do it. I kept bugging him, and I said, well, we'll do it in September, we'll do it in September. And every time he comes out here with Dean to see his, for, for, so Dean can see his car, Graham's bugging me away here. So anyway, I says, well, okay, you get on it now. And he says, well, i got to get the frame all put together. He says, because it's in a million pieces. He's blown this truck apart in a million fucking pieces. He says, I'm going to get the frame all put together, and, and then we're good to go. And I says, okay, do that, because I kind of like to have the cab. Once you do the bodywork, I like to put it on a rolling frame so you can start mocking up and lining things up before you actually start painting. Yep, yep, yep. Well, it's October. Mind you, it was September, a week ago. He decides to bring the frame out. The frame that he's supposed to put together. I know you're out there watching, Graham. <laughs> the frame that he's supposed to put together. He's got all the time in the world. I know he's not doing nothing but out there surfing and skiing and riding around in his 50-foot motorhome fucking bus. And, you know, and he's got all the time in the world. This is what he brings me. This is what he brings me. There we go. His idea of putting the frame together for me, I guess, was to bring me the frame out with a bunch of boxes of parts and say, there, it's together. But no, I'm just fucking with you, Graham, if you're out there. So there we go. This is a small little project we got. We got to get Graham's frame together. Um, I don't know how it goes together, Graham. I haven't got a fucking clue. I'm just playing with you. We'll figure it out. It's all good. Everything goes together. But there we go. He's had it all powder coated. You see all the bits and pieces are laying there. He's bought everything new for it. Disc brake conversion kit and all sorts of, he's got different springs, spring purchase for the diff. Uh, it looks like down below there, they were telling me they see notched the frame down in there. So um, we're going to get the frame together. And then just maybe when we get the frame together, he'll bring me out the cab. So um, that's what's going on with, with, with Graham. These guys are hilarious. Dean and Graham, you got to meet these two. My God, they're, they're, they're two characters, man. They could be live on stage down in Vegas. Anyway, so that's what's happening. There you go. So what can I tell you? It's early in the morning. It's a beautiful day. It's the first week of October, and it's like, been like 24 out here. Uh, for, for the Americans, if you don't know what 24 is or whatever, or Celsius or Fahrenheit, you don't know what that is. That's roughly around, we're getting 65 to 70 during the day right now. And we're on the first, first week of October, so I'm loving it. Anyway, thanks to all you guys for watching. Remember oldtimegarage.ca, that's our website. Tell all your friends, tell your family, don't tell your kids because there's lots of swearing that's going on there. Oh no, not on the website, that's on YouTube, isn't it? Anyway, uh, thanks again. What can I say? Remember, it's always a good time at Old Time. We'll see you next time.